So today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to hike up to Shaney Falls. Jen is going to cook a lunch. We got the uh, the diggy dog with us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a, a, a question and answer today. So, Yep, you guys sent in a bunch of questions. So we're going to answer your questions. And hopefully you guys enjoy the answers. <laughs> <laughs> or enjoy Jen's cooking show. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so we were going to actually... Uh, I was going to go to the grocery store and pick up some random crazy things for Jen to cook, but <laughs> I was nice. It should be an easy meal for her. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, let's go. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. Damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great. I like you. I can't wait, our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Ooh, it eroded, eh? Yeah <laughs> Alright, we just climbed the hill uh, wow. so first little hill. Well, yeah, the first one. So we're going to uh, start with question number one Which was Sheldon Tom's Rob's brother wants to know how many hours of editing goes into one episode? Um, the answer to that is zero for me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right uh, for me I'd say a 20 to 30 minute video is what probably roughly 10 hours about that yeah, anything longer than that. I think the most I've worked on an episode is about 15 hours long. Uh, and that would include the thumbnail as well, I would say. And the upload. Yeah. Stuff, yeah, upload time takes about three hours. So, yeah, give or take. So, 10 to 15 hours for one episode each week. And so it's like having a second part-time job. Yep. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head on through the trail. I'm falling fast, sitting here praying that this life's gonna last You got it all on tap, I'm loving your vibe, always have your back We like on the same track, sitting all night in the shades so black So I'm falling fast, don't remember life before you moved us back I feel good, you look great, I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day, you're so fine I'm so late, you sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Okay, the next question is from Jonathan Halier. How do you limit attracting wildlife to your campsite? So first of all, I try my best to keep my shirt on. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, we're actually very cautious about wildlife. I never, uh, I never leave any food scrap. Uh, we do our best to clean up everything afterwards. Mm -hmm. And what we haven't shown in the camera is we do uh, I take the food quite a ways away and I hang it up in the tree unless I have a cooler But I bring that cooler so far away uh, yeah. from the campsite. So that's uh, It's about all you can really do and just never have food in your in your tent um, We make sure that all of our like anything smelly deodorant uh, Toothpaste all that also goes with all the other food stuff uh, So that there's nothing other than ourselves and blankets in the tent. Yeah and the yes. tent, like I said, is usually far away from where we're where we're cooking too. Yeah, we have we have sort of tried to film that, but it typically ends up to be terrible footage because it is so dark in the forest, <laughs> and even with the lights we bring, it's hard. It's hard to walk. It's hard to see. Uh, so it's hard to film. So yeah. that's anyway, we'll we'll really... add that to one of the films. Yeah. Just to show you what we do there for. Yeah, we'll put that on the bucket list. All right, let's keep going.
Okay, next question we have is from Caroline Chung. Uh, this one's for Rob. So, where did you get your cooking, your passion for cooking? Is that it? There's three, but I just dropped it on oh, the dog's crazy. head. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we're pronouncing any of these names wrong, uh, forgive, we, we apologize. For, forgive us. I, I failed phonics as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't lying either. <laughs> okay. Uh, where did you get your passion for cooking? Where do you get your inspiration? And do you watch any cooking shows or other YouTube channels for tips and tricks? Okay. Um, yeah. So where I get my passion from? I grew up in a, in a small island, Newfoundland, which was very limited in food. And when I moved to Ontario, I realized there was a, a whole wide variety of food I never tried before. So that's where my passion for food came from. Uh, as far as cooking, yeah, I like uh, I like Gordon Ramsay's Masterclass. I think it's pretty good. Uh, we watch a YouTube channel called Guga Foods. He's got some great technique to him. Um, yeah, just yeah, I just always uh, I always uh, admire different cultures, and and I think food is a, a neat way to get to know a culture. So uh, that's that's where my passion for food came from. Perfect. As beautiful as the falls are, we're gonna do a little bushwhacking and get off the trail. Just because we know it's a lot easier. Oh, thorny bushes, thorny, ow, thorny bushes. Ow. Anyway, yes. So we're going to find a spot to set up our little place to make a meal up in the pipeline here off the beaten path that way we're not in anybody's way and they're not in ours and it's good for everyone lots of thorns eh yeah <sighs> all right next question denver o'leary yeah okay so who convinced who into doing the youtube vlogging for your trips did you camp and fish a lot prior to YouTubing or did vlogging and camping and fishing all happen at once? Okay, well, you start this one off. Um, How did this start? Who convinced who? I think it was kind of a mutual conversation for a long time. So it was middle of COVID. Yeah. We were born under our skulls in the house. But we had talked about it before COVID too. Yep. We like uh, getting out for the adventure, so we decided that uh, we would uh, buy a cheap camera and uh, see if we can. Yeah, see if we enjoyed it actually. And turns out we do. <laughs> yeah. As far as fishing and all that, um, yeah, I grew up in Newfoundland doing a lot of fishing and camping. I was in Boy Scouts and scouts and cadets and a whole lot of different things so i've always had an appreciation for the outdoors mm -hmm. and jen yeah i grew up camping fishing hiking all the things um my dad was the one who took us fishing almost every single weekend and canoeing in the summer so uh when he didn't want to go he was forced to go <laughs> just like you <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so basically it's just what our families did. Well, my family uh, did not canoe and they weren't campers, but Jen's family were. Yeah. So it was often me and my brother would go camping. I think I was camping once with my father and that was in the trailer. So my parents weren't much for camping, but uh, um, they always gave us the opportunity to go to places for camping. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Eh? Pretty much it. And was there another part of that or no? That was it, right? Yeah, so it didn't all happen at once. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen all at once. 
Okay. okay. So Time. I'm going to grab the camera and Jen's going to sit up and Jen's making a meal for once. Oh, what, what are you making? I was going to get there. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we brought some nice mushrooms. Uh, that's for dessert. We have some cream, 35%. It's quite a bit of stuff here. We have half a bag of nahi. This is sort of like an, I guess this will be for kind of late lunch slash pre-dinner meal for us. <laughs> uh, what else do I have in here? I have some Romano cheese. We're gonna use the grater on that. Romano, what? That's what it says. R-O-A, oh, R-O-M-A-N-O, -O -O. I'm sure it'll be fine, cheese is good. Grabbed a bottle of wine for this lovely adventure. We got some butter with uh, garlic and herbs. That's for the dessert. And we have some bacon. Is that it? In here other than dessert? Yep, that's it. And I got a... A nice little kitchen utensil. Well, I think that's probably good enough, eh? Yep. Nice allotment of mushrooms. Okay, should we can have those? Now, I'm gonna have to heat up my mushrooms with my butter, so. We're just going to swap pots here. There we go. Bacon in there. I'm going to leave the garbage bag out too. I see this whole way. Fort Knox on the bacon here. because I have to drive. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm not very flexible. Okay. All right, mate. Time what? for another question. Hey, what else you got? <laughs> I got one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven more. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, our um, mature adventures. Which do you prefer more, camping or hiking, and why? Okay, you go first. Um, I would say I probably. It was canoeing or hiking, wasn't it? Sorry, canoeing or hiking. Yeah. Did I say camping? I think so. Okay. So camping. Hey. <laughs> no, Mister. Camping or hiking? Are canoeing or hiking? <laughs> oh way. Um. My preference would still be the canoeing. I think because typically when you're out there, um, you're still seeing a lot less people than when you go hiking. Um, another thing is, is I'm guaranteed to actually go fishing. <laughs> and not that I catch anything every single time, but I do enjoy the fishing and just the potential of catching a fish and being able to cook that up and having a really nice snack. Uh, so for me, it's a mixed bag. So I like canoeing better because you can carry heavier things. So it's typically more comfortable. I would disagree with Jen's thing about saying that hiking you can't... But you have some solitude, some nice hikes there too. Mm -hmm. I think you run into more people when you hike during the summer rather than 
hike in this season like you've been doing. True. So, so far as weight and comfort, you can carry better stuff, better food. Uh, weight's not that much of a concern. Yes, portaging sucks, but it's only one part of it. Yeah, and when, we typically go for sites that the portage is relatively short, easy, or none at all. <laughs> so, I don't know where I was going with that. But Sorry. <laughs> I was supposed to answer this question, but Jen go apparently ahead, wants. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll shut so up. So what I was going to say is uh, the only drawback with hiking is your weight. So you really got to be careful of how much you're carrying, and that can really take away from the experience. So that's 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 something. But I do I do love both of them um, for, for for different reasons, I guess. Yeah, I would agree. We'll do one more as we're that bacon's taking a little bit here. One more question? Yeah. Can you read it? Well, I stir. Where were we at? Uh, we, were, we were here, so Alphonse Bennett. It says, how far, sorry, how large do you consider your YouTube territory? How far would you go? Have you ever scrapped a YouTube video for unforeseen circumstances? And, uh, why did you start the channel? Mm -hmm. I think we've already taken that last one up, but... Uh, and have we ever considered getting an ice, ice shack. shack? Okay. Uh, so the first one, how far is your territory? When we look at the analytics, it's actually pretty incredible. We got people from all over the world watching it. Russia, uh, Argentina, Colombia. Yeah. Uh, Lots from Canada and the U.S. Yeah, like 80% is Canada and the United States, but yeah. pretty pretty incredible. How far would you go for for, uh, for a video? I'd pretty much go anywhere. Uh, as long as we had the, uh, the, the time, time, right? Time, time and money yeah. and... Um, a place in which we would feel safe enough to be there. Those are... Yeah. yeah. Uh, have we ever scrapped a YouTube video? No, me and Jen decided when we uh, decided to do this, we would keep this real. So as possible, yeah. Real as possible. So we, uh, what you see is what you get. If there's, if there's a complete mess up, you're going to see it. Um, we're not about uh, hiding anything. Uh, nothing, nothing is perfect. So mm -hmm. if you don't see it and you wonder what happened, like the last video uh, or a couple videos ago, when we were going through the large body of water that was basically a lake and I was stressed about it, I had attempted to put the camera on prior to almost being halfway through that puddle and I thought the camera was on but it wasn't. So I lost a little bit of our communication there but basically the communication was very similar to the first puddle um, except I think I did say, oh my god, please don't go through there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the last last uh, question was, would we consider uh, we getting an ice yeah. shack? I've actually considered making an ice shack, but yeah, uh, in North Bay, there's a lot of people that have an ice shack, but sometimes it can be really hard to get it off the lake. It can actually thaw and freeze, and yeah. it can become really messy to get it uh, get it off the lake. But yeah, it would be, uh, it would be a lot of fun. For gonna get, sure. Going to get the mushrooms on the go here. Yeah. The mushrooms in. Get them all nice and sauteed up in the bacon fat here. Ooh, it's getting hot. Cheers, dear. Cheers. So the next few questions are going to be uh, come from some of my co-workers to watch these videos. So I wrote down the questions as they were asking here. So a very common question I get is, uh, how did you get your how did you get your wife into camping? <laughs> so that's not an easy thing, guys. It takes years of uh, grooming and uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Top-notch negotiating. Uh, no, I didn't have to get her into camping. That was a similar interest from day one. Mm -hmm. So. Yep. If if your partner's not into camping, I, I don't know what to suggest you, to you because there's it's actually a really hard stop. Like either you love it or you hate you it. You really don't like it. Uh, 
definitely uh, make the person comfortable first time and make them a good meal and uh, hope for the best. Drink some wine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the next question is, is uh, how did you and, and Jen meet? Um, grade 10, Rob moved to North Bay and we met in auto mechanics class. I don't know if I should tell you the story. <laughs> <laughs> Easy now. <laughs> yep. So that's where we met. Um, and we spent, my best friend and I, Vanessa, who watches our show, um, we used to take nuts and bolts from the shop. And while Rob and people were underneath the, the cars fixing them, Rob and I would go around and... But not me. I know, Vanessa. Vanessa. Vanessa, you were under the car. <laughs> Vanessa and I would drop nuts and bolts down through <laughs> the engine compartment and uh, it would land on them. <laughs> I thought this was funny. Yeah, we thought it was pretty hilarious. A couple teenage girls. Yeah, and then after... Uh, it was about two years until you and I started actually dating yeah yeah that's that's how we met so grade 12 was when we had our first date yeah uh, another question from one of our co-workers is aren't you afraid to sleep outside with the beers and wolves <laughs> uh, you know what the funny thing is I'll own this one I get a little sketched out with noises and stuff I'm a light sleeper I know from a probability standpoint, you're not going to get hurt by a black bear or a wolf. I mean, if it you go back happen. in uh, the last hundred years, there might be a handful of times. So from a probability standpoint, uh, you're, you're pretty safe. Now, nevertheless, yeah, I get wigged out by weird noises and I usually try to use white noise, like a little fan or something to stop that. Something to stop that. So uh, yeah. I, I pass out typically and don't hear a thing unless Rob is yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he asked us, what do you use for camera gear? So we have a small setup. We got a ZV-1 Sony. That's the one we're filming on right now. That one's great for low light. Um, great for sound. Great for sound. Other than that, it's, it's not an action camera. It's not waterproof. It's very delicate. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we probably use that the least actually. Yeah. Uh, we have a GoPro 11 and a 10 with a couple of uh, media mods and some external mics where we can. We use the Rode mics. The Rode mics, yeah. Rode micros. Really good. for, And they're only like 60 bucks. And then as far as uh, uh, the drone, I use the uh, DJI Mini Pro drone. So that's uh, that's your equipment. Yep. Okay, cool. next question is for Get and Go. Uh, do you guys camp all year long or take a break during the really cold months? Uh, so in the really cold months, we typically ice fish and I drag a diesel heater along because uh, Yeah, we, we got new gear this year. We're gonna see how far we can stretch the season But at minus 20 or minus 30 in North Bay uh, it's, it's hard it's to love very hard. So we typically will go out ice fishing Yeah, um, even if it's just for like a day and an evening kind of thing um, if it's if it's below minus 20, 25, we will opt not to sleep out there. We did minus 35 one year. Yeah, it wasn't comfortable. No, we didn't have a winter sleeping bag then either. No. So, yeah, but yeah. So we're still playing with our gear and upgrading all the time and yeah. So stretching our. We've never done fall camping like we have this as we have done this year, but that's because we didn't have the gear. Yeah. I, I, fall camping is tough for me and well and I, I don't hunt either right so if you're hunting I think it'd be a little more enjoyable uh, in, in spring camping it's just it's, it's wet and uh, but like I said we've uh, you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> yeah we've had a couple of really nice nice uh, trips in yeah. the fall so I think we're really starting to appreciate it now yeah, there's nobody yeah. there's nobody out there nobody, <laughs> yeah. nobody. so yeah so these were uh, a couple of questions that people have asked yep Dear, what do you think? On some cream I right think now? that we got a nice uh, crisp to our bacon, and I think our mushrooms are ready for some cream. Add some butter to our stuff here for some flavoring, as you guys probably can 
have figured out from our past videos, Rob and I really like butter. That's the Dutch in you. It is the Dutch in me. Okay, let's get that situated. Oh, I thought that was hot. That's the worst of that thing. Yeah, well, I have a lodge uh, thing. Just should have brought the lodge uh, thing for this cover. A couple of things that butter actually helps cool it down. Yeah. Don't put uh, your cream in this when it's really hot, otherwise it'll curd on you. Oh, that smells good. It doesn't it? You could almost eat it just like this. Oh, smokes. <laughs> That's good stuff. Even Chewy's over here beside me going. <laughs> I'd like to eat that. Okay, cream. Oh, it's good there now. It's gonna be creamy. Save a little bit in case I need to. So what are you gonna do after that? What's the next step now? Um, I'm gonna wait for it to thicken up a bit, and then I'm gonna shred some cheese in, and then I need to also fry up some of my. <laughs> <laughs> I need to fry up some Look of this dog. <laughs> Whoa, was it me? <laughs> so next, I need to fry up my nahi in the pan and get that all nice and toasted. And then once that's toasted and this is thickened with the with the cheese added, then I'm going to add the nahi to this. Sounds good. So. <laughs> So bonus question, Yeah. Uh, and I've gotten this quite a bit from co-workers that I didn't add this, but I think it's funny and it, well, it's funny, but it, you know, maybe somebody wants it's to know. It's actually a real question. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to ask, well, when you go ice fishing or you're out back country, back country camping, especially in the winter time, where does Jen pee? <laughs> I do like the men do and I go pee in the bush or on the side of the snow bank beside the tent. The ice tent. And this is not funny, but it's funny. Um, when you see the racket women have to go through, think you're lucky. It's stars. quite the time. You're a, you're a male. The dog is kicking. Chewy, a tripod. Chewy, no, Chewy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, it's way better as a guy. <laughs> By a mile. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna uh, start to fry some of these nahis up. It's a small pan. This takes forever. This stuff. Yeah. It takes forever and we're running out of light. So it's gonna be a joint effort, just like sometimes at camp. <laughs> it's a joint effort. Hey, would you like some butter? I'm just making a little garbage pile. We will take that with us when we leave. Frozen for some reason. They're not frozen. They're frozen. <laughs> I don't know what do you want to call it. Nice and thick. Creamy. Creamy. It needs to stick to the nahi. Cheers. Cheers. No. Sit down. I'll feed you when we get home. Mm -hmm. So how'd I do? Good. Very good. Me? 
plenty salty. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Really cheesy. I put lots of cheese in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've had our lovely dinner, and now I'm searching for my ingredients for our dessert. Where'd it go? I've got two Macintosh apples. I cut them up in about one inch chunks, roughly. And what I'll do is if this works out, I'll put this in my recipe in the description because that's probably the best place to put it because I don't remember exactly the amounts that I use, but this is cinnamon and white sugar. I know that much. I'm just, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix it up into my apples. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Look, that's a lot of cinnamon and sugar. It is, quite a bit, isn't it? Now, where'd my butter go? I need to I need to um, thaw my butter because it's probably pretty frozen right now. Yeah, it is. It's going to take a minute. Okay, the butter. Butter's getting situated. Now, I have. I have flour, I have oats, and I have baking powder, and... Okay, so not to go on first? No, so not yet. Not yet. This has to be melted together. Mm. And, what do you call know. this? <laughs> oh, Brown we'll sugar. <laughs> it's all gonna go in together in a second. This could be an epic fail, because this isn't supposed to be how you do this. In case anybody cares. This isn't how you're supposed to do this. No, you're supposed to do it in on a fire. Okay, so. And. <laughs> okay, this should be easier in the fire because you got complete control. <laughs> and it should be done. <laughs> you are. You're getting a treat tonight, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And it should be done in a pouch of, what do you call that? Tin foil? Tin foil. Well, it needs to be baked. That's just going to work. <laughs> <laughs> like I said. We still have them crunching. Oh, <laughs> 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 Is this going to be another episode of Burnt Roger? <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> like I don't care. It smells good. It does smell good. <laughs> I was just oh, what, you gonna cover it or something? Yes, I'm gonna put the lid on it in a second. I just wanted to get it all situated here. What do you guys think? <laughs> this is gonna work or what? It's probably a good thing that I've had some wine. <laughs> <laughs> we have what's gonna have to be as good as done. Oh. What's with the whipped cream? That for later? <gasps> oh. Is it? Uh, for now. So. Still a little bit crunchy, but warmed up. Tastes good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna put the whipped cream on. We're gonna have to eat out of this pan because we don't have any more bowls left. Oh boy. I'm pretty stuffed. Well, you're going to have to help me. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, I'll hook this up to the tripod and we'll get into this. We'll tuck in. Oh boy. It's hot. <coughs> Alright.
Hot. How would you rate this from one to ten? Backcountry desserts? A hell of a lot better from than those things you buy in the cover packs. So your face one. Yeah. <laughs> it's free <pretty> strong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're pretty good. <laughs> Except for their uh, it's good. How could sugar not be good? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whatever, don't even pretend it's bad. <laughs> I don't want to step on it. No. <laughs> it's not good cooked apples. What's the That's crunchy on the teeth. <laughs> yes, but it still tastes good. <laughs> I gotta get this stuff in the section. That's okay. <laughs> well, that was okay. Yeah. I had a really crunchy one that wasn't like. No, but the inside part is the yeah, best. Yeah, but this out there was like a raw apple <laughs> oh. with raw porridge. <laughs> no, get the one in the center. It's better when it's cooked. Uh, that's okay. Oh, good. Yeah, but if you did this in the tinfoil the way it was supposed oh, to be, yeah. done, it would definitely be awesome. It would be a wicked, wicked uh, dessert. Just the first one was a rough look. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little crunchy. Yeah, it's the stuff that's in the center. It's not evenly. No. It wasn't evenly uh, doing this thing. Oop. I'm full. You? Oop. I don't eat dessert anyways. No, no way. How do we? We don't eat dessert at our house very often. You know, but your family is. Yeah, they do when they get together. Chewy, you're not supposed to be eating those ones that fell on the ground. It wasn't cooked through. No, but the middle part was okay. The, the, the stuff there is on the sides. That one there is like particular. Yeah, but it's really good tasting, though. Yeah, like in the center. Yep. Yeah. That's something you uh, minus the whipped cream. You could take everything but the whipped cream in a, a beer barrel because mm -hmm. apples can last like a week for refrigeration, mm -hmm. and the rest is uh, non perishable Exactly. Even butter can last. Uh, Several days. Well, a couple, uh, at least a week on the counter. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, if you clarify it, that can last months. So, if you use some clarified, maybe a ghee with this, you could use that as a, as a backcountry meal. Mm -hmm. If it's cooked through, I would give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah. The cooked through pieces were really good. It's just a rough start. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It was like dry porridge <laughs> and a crunchy apple. <laughs> That's because the center of the pan gets hotter than the rest. Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna pack up and yep. make our way down. All right. Before we get too dark here, Chili wants to go home and have his dinner. Anyway. I guess we'll probably end it here, you guys. Um, yeah. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. We really appreciate that and it's really fun. The comments and everything you guys put on these videos really makes uh, makes it a lot of fun. Yeah. Enjoy reading them. Enjoy uh, responding. Good group of people. It's a lot of fun. Some of you guys really make me laugh really, really hard. Yeah. Some of your comments. So uh, mm -hmm. I, I do enjoy it and, uh, and thank you guys. Yeah. See you next Sunday. See you. <laughs>